In this short video, let's talk about what the graph represents when it comes to the real life problems. So Eric is draining the aquarium. And the graph shows the amount of water in liters in the aquarium versus the time in minutes. I do own an aquarium myself, and so I found a picture not of myself, but how people drain the aquarium. Here is the pipe attached to the aquarium, and then, you know, usually in the bucket, you just wait for the water to go out from the aquarium. Usually you do like 20% or 50%, depends on the situation. So it makes sense, the longer you wait, the less level of the water will be in the aquarium. So that's why the graph is decreasing, decreasing, going down like this. When we just started at time zero, that's the beginning, it was full. The aquarium was full. And then the longer we wait, the more water there will be in the aquarium, like this. It will be decreasing, decreasing, decreasing. And if we never stop, we will take all the water out of the aquarium. And this is the time show us when it's going to happen in minutes. So apparently, it's very fast 4.5 minutes and really the whole aquarium is over well this aquarium is small so i can believe in that my aquarium is uh, 60 gallons so it's a little bit longer than that so let's answer some questions what is the amount of water in the aquarium in zero minutes like i told you just look at the beginning this is my t time and they call it x but usually time is in t right so at zero minutes it was here Look how high the graph of the function is, and I see it was at 90, so it was full by 90 liters. So the answer is 90. It's only 90 liters aquarium, not 60 gallons. 60 gallons, I think it's approximately 120 liters or something like that, or more. No, it's I think 200. Anyway, choose the statement that best describes blah blah blah, the amount it gives me, and the second statement did not copy. Okay, I will can tell you what was the second statement. The first statement says, as the time increases, the amount of the water in the aquarium decreases. And the second statement was, as the time increases, the amount of water also increases. Well, duh, if you're draining the water from the aquarium, I just literally told you it was here, then it became so, like so, and small and small and small. The longer you wait, the less water left. So the first is the answer. As the time increases, so the longer you wait, the amount of the water decreases. Uh, the small, uh, less water stays. On the graph, it looks like this. The longer I wait, so time is increasing, the less water will stay. So the f of x is decreasing. That's kind of all. So it's not very complicated. I can even write down here. It's decreasing. And it just makes sense. Always imagine the situation. Decreasing is going down. If you put a pencil on the graph of the function, it's literally sliding down. So the graph of the function there is decreasing because the level of water is decreasing. At what rate is the amount of water is decreasing? To find the rate, they want us to find slope m. Slope m can be found as change in output over change in input where should i take these numbers from i should just take two random numbers on the graph of the function some people love to take the first and the last one because they involve zeros so we can do that if you want the first point over here for example is a 0 and 90 we already know that at zero time the output was 90 and this one looks like 4.5 and 0 but you also can use something more reliable because if I'm not sure, is it half or not? It's hard to see and if I zoom in, it doesn't really help. But this one, I'm sure, this any two points will work. This point is 3 and 30, right? So you can use that and you can check the answer will be the same. So that's your choice. Let's write it down. The first point is 0 and 90. And the second point, let's choose 3 and 30, because that's one I'm sure about. Then, I will sign which one means what. x1, y1. x2, y2. Now, I'm going to carefully plug it into the formula. Second output minus first output will be 30 minus 90, not the other way around. You always choose the second point first. 
change in input second input minus first input three minus zero and the answer should be uh, negative you will see that so 30 minus 90 is minus 60 over 3 and indeed it is negative how did i know it ahead of time well because if the graph of the function is decreasing that can be already described with a negative slope of the tangent line slope is negative for the decreasing functions basically you imagine if you're hiking this mountain is going down that means what is the steepness of the mountain the slope negative but the tricky point is they don't want to mention negative sign in the answer because they say at what rate the amount of the water is decreasing so since they mentioned decreasing word it will be at 20 liters per minute is decreasing if they just say at what rate at what rate is the amount of water is changing so changing just changing word does not represent increase or decrease then i would answer minus 20 liters per minute and it will represent that it's decreasing so you should be careful about that basically it's the same trick as answering the question how much money did you lose yesterday you did not say i lost minus 20 dollars you say I lost $20, even though it is negative number, right? So same here. What rate of the amount of water is decreasing? Is decreasing 20 liters per minute, not minus 20 liters per minute. So just make sure you understand the situation clearly. And you just imagine what is going on. The better the faster you imagine it, the better you imagine it, the easier those problems um, go into your mind. Well, hopefully now you get it and I will see you in my next video.